Hello and uh, welcome to Traumatic. My name's Mark Reeves. I'm here with the Association of Mountaineering Instructors, or AMI, and uh, the BMC. And what we're doing is making a follow-on to the BMC's How to Lead Climb video, where we're looking at multi-pitch climbing. And some of the differences between single pitch and multi-pitch climbing is that obviously the routes are a lot bigger. We can't actually see the whole route from the ground. So what that means is we have to carry a lot more equipment with us. And the reason we're carrying all this extra equipment is the cracks could go from anything from very small to very big. And so hopefully between what I've got on my rack, I've got everything I could need for any eventuality on this route that we're about to do. There are other things that can help us. There are, there are guidebooks and, and in them we can have like nice little topo diagrams and route descriptions. And so the route description in this guide says, Go up to some ledges, arrange some gear, move out to the arete boldly, continue up, move back left to another crack and onto a belay. And that's a description of the first pitch of this climb. It also advises that we might need some micro wires on this route just for this first pitch. So what have I got with me? Racking up is like belly buttons. You're either an innie or an outie. I'm a, an outie. That means that all my carabiners are gates facing out. At the front, I have my small wires. I then have my medium wires, followed by small cams, then have long quick draws, medium quick draws, and then right at the back, just twist that round, I've got a selection of screw gates, which we'll see later, and a belay device. On the other side, like I said, I've got my micro wires for this first pitch. I then have some large wires, followed by a couple of large cams, some hexes, and spin that round again. Long, medium, and small quick draws. A few slings that I've racked here, and some prussics just in case I get into any difficulties. I also have with me a, a short sling because I could see a little spike just down here, so I'm going to use that early on. And I have a long sling here, and what that means is I can unclip it and pull it out, and I don't have to take it over my head. The reason that I don't want it to have to take it over my head is that if I'm grabbing hold of something and I needed to take it off, I can't actually get to the sling. And so what I do is carabiner at one end, pass that over my head, clip it together and then put it on the side just like that and it's ready to go. The other things that are slightly different between single and multi-pitch climbing is I've got two half ropes. The reason that I have half ropes is that it's a lot more versatile. If the route meanders about I can put some gear on my right and some gear on my left. To help me with that, I've got two different colour ropes. I've got an orange rope or reddish rope on my right, R for right, and a blue on my left. The other good thing about using two half ropes is that if I get rained on, or if I get to the top and I want to abseil down, I can tie these two ropes together and make a retrievable abseil and abseil 50 metres at a time. If I'm only using one 50 metre rope, I can only abseil 25 metres at a time. 